We're under a tremendous amount of difficulty, the door of the Antichrist is open and he's moving and people like flies dropping. You think by taking marijuana and drugs you're going to safeguard your heart or you contaminate your mind and now the Antichrist and Dajjal begin to completely take over your brain and your process of thinking. You're in a spiritual battle. My son asked me, what do you define as holiness? Is everyone has an answer for holiness? Holiness is that which improves your soul. You have to have a belief in a soul, in a light, in a being given by God. And what is defined as holy? Is that when you believe in your soul and that which improves your soul and builds your soul, that is holy. Not a man say he's holy, not following him says it's holy. But what are you doing that benefits your soul? And the most powerful benefit for your soul are selfless acts of charity. Something you don't think you have a benefit in, more than your salah. Your salah is for you. Allah ordered salah so you would be a good person and be charitable and be loving and kind so that your character would be blossoming and showing. So what Allah wanted was the good acts. But there's Daesh, they pray a lot but they were putting everybody in cages and God forbid trying to burn them. This wasn't the act. The acts that we do, the pillars of Islam were meant to be a, a character and khuluq. فَعَدَى مَنْ رَبِّ فَأَحْسَنُ Allah sent me with the best of character and to teach manners. Why? Because I did my salah, I did my zakah, I did my hajj, I did my fasting. I did them in such a sincere way, my character is exemplatory. Prophet is teaching for us that with this good character we become holy. Why? Because we're, we're doing these principles, say, Baba pray, do all these things so that you'll, you'll have a humbleness in your life and you sort of leave your head low to the ground understanding people's needs, people's wounds, how to talk with people, not to offend, not to hurt, not to over overstep your boundary. Everyone should know when they act with people, they should know their limit and not go beyond that limit and not to hurt and offend people, that's why we pray. We went for Hajj to see the massness of our community. There is not one nation superior, look at Allah brought the whole of mankind. Hajj is an example of judgment day where you fear, you can't get close, you're following around, you're struggling to make your tawaf, you're tired. Allah's reminding how are you going to do that, how are you going to survive my judgment day? If you're just getting tired on Hajj and, and scared on Hajj. So all of these were for examples, why? So that the good character would shine. And how we know we became holy or we're mo moving in a direction of holiness is what I do on a daily basis to the benefit of my soul and are my acts becoming more and more selfless or selfish where everything has to be about me. As Salaamu Alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshaAllah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content inshaAllah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels and donate. Every bit helps. JazakAllah Khair and we will return to the program. We gotta unfeed people and support to feed people where I don't want to benefit. That's why Prophet described for us 
Yatim is most beautific. Why? Because you deal with men, give them talks, maybe they're all businessmen, they're going to give you donations. But they deal with kids who have no home, what they're going to do for us? Means an act of charity and goodness and, and good character and loving for those whom they don't have the ability to defend themselves. This is what then makes the person to be holy. Not that they prayed a lot. Every type of hadith we just posted that the hadith for calamity is to give right away, give sadaqah, give charity right away to take away any type of calamity, any type of difficulty. Keep yourself in wudu, make your salawats. All of them are an immense salvation from every type of difficulty and shayateen cannot take the presence of salawat. Whatever type of shayateen is trying to uh, attach itself to people to make them and increase their sickness, to make them to become sicker and sicker and sicker, its salvation, its release is in the durood al sharif People think they don't have to have wudu at home. That wudu is for like when you go to the <laughs> market, you go to the mall, you do whatever you want when you're home, doesn't matter. And some people think they don't have to cover at home. I'm home, I don't have to cover. Look, you're from dunya or you're from people of akhirah? If you're from people of akhirah, there's more people in your home than there are people outside. And they're all pious, all the shaykhs, all the awliya, all the salihin, all the jinn, mu'min jinn, there are men in your home too. Why you're not covered in your home? So it means this world of malakut is not something uh, normal people understand. So they say, oh we can be relaxed, there's no time to be relaxed. Right now everything is under attack, you should always keep the, the cover because the, the lowest form of your understanding of cover is that you don't want the opposite gender to be attracted to you. But this is not what the reality of the cover was only for, that's the lowest understanding. The highest understanding is they're taking your energy. Whatever Allah is sending of emanation is coming and dressing upon to dress the upper part of your reality. This is the house of the soul. This is the house of Allah Allah in the heart. So it means if your upper upper reality is always being tanzil, always being dressed, all emanations are directed towards the heart. They're moving into the heart, they're moving into the being to dress the holy crown of creation which is the head, right? If there's a light in the heart, they shine on their face. So your two major organs, your heart is the sun, your face and head is a moon. So who's going after what? Shaitan is going after your heart and to destroy your moon. Somebody else asked, why these, these scholars have marks all over their head and dark faces? Oh because they read Qur'an and they don't understand it. When Allah said, we will see them and you will know them by the mark on their forehead. Not the self-inflicted charcoal burns that they burn charcoal onto their forehead to make they have like sujood, <laughs> you seen the burn, burn mark? That's not the mark Allah was looking for. It's the mark of the piety in which Allah gave a nur into their heart and like a spotlight, a light comes out of their head. You'll know them if you have sincerity because your heart sees a nur on their face. On Yawm al Mashar, all of creation will look at them and think that they're looking at the lights of Allah, looking at the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> because of the immensity of the nur that coming from their head, from their forehead, and from their right hand. So when we know that the heart is the house of Allah and this house is going to be known by the Muhammadan haqqaiq, 
When Allah described, I created this creation in my image. What's Allah's image? Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah has no shaykh. That's all this training. The closest you, you'll understand to what the shaykh and to the form or to the understanding of Allah is called Muhammadun Rasulullah When I created creation in my image means this insan and, and the haqqaiq of insan and what Allah gave to it of a Divinely nature that I'm going to send the emanation into your heart. Your Islam is your source of, of knowledge of the heavens. With your generous support, we have helped many of the needy around the world. You can make a difference right now by helping us support those who need it the most. Give now at nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate. We're all struggling to be holy and our holiness is going to be defined on what we're doing with our soul. Am I, what am I doing is, is building my soul and my soul, it's, its food and its energy are in acts that are selfless and not based on myself. And this love for Sayyidina Muhammad and do, doing a mawlid and holding a mawlid, supporting the mawlid, giving food out for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad giving charity to people, food to people. Those acts are what gives Allah satisfaction. When Allah is happy, the soul becomes holy. Not by people giving a title to somebody, this one is Sultan, this one is… don't know who anyone is. Titles are only from Allah and those are from the actions that most people don't even see between the servant and Allah But you should see the holiness in their character and in their deeds. So with that light, with those realities, you're building your heart, you're building all of these energies. All this grace and all this majesty. When you bow down to me, you show me how humble you are and that you're nothing. With whatever you've given to me, Ya Rabbi, I'm absolutely nothing. So when that prostration is going and it's so dear to Allah that you're showing yourself you to be nothing, you don't think shaitan is after your head? Yeah, that's the, your crown. If this the house, this the crown. So then shaitan wants the crown, don't put a head cover on, you know, let your energy go. Men and women it's no different. If a man's sitting at home and playing on internet and talking to this and talking to that, if you're an energy person you know immediately you're coming under attack from all sources so your head is always being covered. You know as soon as you wash in the washroom if you come out without wudu, you're going to be burning from everywhere that lost its wudu. They'll attack you on your privates, they'll attack you on your feet, they'll attack you into your face and your mouth. The energy's all around you waiting for your, your, 
your blink of an eye where Prophet said, don't leave me to my nafs for blink of an eye. The tariqah comes to give the hikmah of why these rules were, were installed for, by Sayyidina Muhammad Cover yourself because there's mu'min beings in the home. And what about the, the beings that are not mu'min? That when the children are coming back and people are entering and service people are coming through, what type of beings are coming with them into the home environment? Yeah, most definitely if you want protection, you cover all the time. You want protection, take your face off of every type of internet so that nobody nefarious can look at you, send their energy to come after you. The door of the Antichrist is open. And he's moving and people like flies dropping, pound, 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 pound. And Allah grant for us an understanding and these teachings. We want God's kingdom to come, the heavenly kingdom come, khubda Allah then teaching these energies are coming upon you, why you're not safeguarding them? As soon as your head is covered this energy is flowing. Which energy? The power of your soul. This energy on the power of the soul is powerful enough to push negativity away. When shaitan then inspired the, release the cover of your head, oh your energy is out. And then they're just sitting there pulling that energy all day long, inspiring the person then for all the wrong choices and all the wrong decisions. So instead of faith in their heart, they have anger in their heart. We saw them storming buildings and looking with horns and, God these people are going to be on the streets going from home to home. They're just ignorant, they're angry and they're on fire. They're Narani people because these like the door of Jahannam opened on earth and now Ahlul Jahannam start to march everywhere. So somebody can say, I'm too angry. Too angry. This is a med school. How, how could you be so angry when we gave the conditions? Something's wrong in your Islam because your anger is coming from ignorance. Something in what you're doing, you're ignorant about. As a result of your ignorance, you're continuously getting angry. You could be ignorant of not knowing the fact that you have to have wudu. You're just going around all over this uh, land with no wudu, doing everything. So it means you don't truly understand what this shaykh is teaching you of Islam. So it's med school, anyone tells you they're angry, something's wrong in their Islam and definitely they're not reaching towards iman. So they have no iman in their heart if they're in continuous state of qadab. Because the qadab take away their Islam, their iman. But without iman there's no light. It's the station of iman, Islam is merely the action. You accept it. Iman, what is that in English? Is it called a noun? It's actually something. Iman is what Allah grants to you. Islam is not what's granted. Islam is your acceptance. I accept it to try to submit myself. When Allah accepts the practices of your acceptance, He grants you an actual light. And there's an experience of a light that comes into your heart, this light illuminates your heart and it's a candle that flickering, wuquf al qalb and, and the vigilance of your heart is then your whole life is to, to guard this candle Allah gave, this precious light Allah gives to the, to the believer of faith. What am I going to do my Lord to, to, to make my faith stronger? Make your salawah. What am I going to do my Lord to make my, my faith stronger? Give do acts of charity, do all these things to become holy, then this love, these actions make the faith, you know, not a candle anymore, like a fire. That was the fire that Nabi Musa saw. That guidance and muhabbat and love has to be in the heart. When the heart is lit with that light, lit with that faith, it's like a sun. Nobody takes it out. First it's just a candle, it's a candle in the wind. Shaitan is continuously sitting there 
<laughs> that's the goal of things, to hide from him. This is why we do what we do, we're doing it all the time. Everyone has a grave to worry about and we have even more to worry because the Antichrist is right behind the door. Every action that we're doing, every, every, everything that we do is a vehicle for us to get our faith here. It opens the school for everyone to achieve their faith, every, every interaction is open to achieve our faith. Why? Because we all need our heart to be lit like a sun. Not a candle in the last days, good God I've seen all of the people, we see them dropping like flies. Friend, family and foe, just you know come two days they say a couple things wrong, you understand that their, their heart is being extinguished. It's not something that just granted for anyone, it's not something if you don't take care of it, you don't, you don't nourish it. You think by taking marijuana and drugs you're going to safeguard your heart? or you contaminate your mind and now the antichrist and dajjal begin to completely take over your brain and your process of thinking that you could be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam doing these ridiculous things you'd even survive all the phases of death that are coming onto this earth what should see the ulama are not surviving you think common people are going to survive what were they teaching and practicing? When someone come to them and say, we'll do it, they say, I don't know anything about it, just you do it. They didn't achieve an understanding of what water was, but their knowledge then was for what benefit? Means these are very difficult days. These are not days where you think and you rationalize, hey, I'm going to be okay, you take your chances because if one of these things attach themselves to you when your head is not covered and you think at that time you want to come, if these energies attach themselves, not only that, they can attach themselves and immediately your leg become ulcerated. They're a negative energy, they go in there and they destroy every type of vascular system in your body. They can begin to wreak havoc on, on the human body. When they're ordering stay in your home, stay out of these environments means keep your, your, your way, keep your you know you're in a spiritual battle, keep your wudu, keep all your sunnah, keep all your sharia, keep all your, your covered for so that we can reach to a point in which Allah sanctify the heart and fortify the heart and that we can be with Sayyidina Mahdi inshaAllah Allah give us a life in which to see the arrival of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam, Ameen Allahumma Ameen. And to be under the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad here and hereafter, Ameen. under the support of awliyaullah, Ashab al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ahlul Bayt al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Awliyaullah, Samai wa Filad, Hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa, wa Rasul Rasulat al If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. 
from feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side to clothing LA's homeless community and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.